Across the internet, there are very few stories as perplexing and cryptic as the story of Chip Chan. A Korean streamer, Chip Chan or Jane Rowe, is infamous across internet circles for a 24-7 livestream that she created, originally discovered by a webcam thread in 2008. The Chip Chan rabbit hole burrows far deeper than a simple IRL livestream, though. 4chan users were the first to discover her livestream, bewildered at the bizarre sleep schedule that she exhibited, often in sleeping positions that no regular person would be able to sustain or even find comfortable. With a clock being present in every livestream, viewers began to wonder what exactly her story was, and as this tale unraveled, users were beyond shocked. Whether the story of Chip Chan is one of an elaborate scheme by a corrupt police officer, or the breathtaking delusions of a mentally damaged woman, it remains as one of the internet's most fascinating stories. So what exactly is Chip Chan's story, and for what reason was she streaming her life, let alone sleeping, for such long periods per day? As more people began to discover her stream, Chip Chan started to release small bits of information about herself and what the purpose of her stream was. This entire story, according to her, revolves around a device that she herself has dubbed Mind Control Weapon and a corrupt police officer named P who is extorting her for money. By her description, this corrupt police officer, that she refers to as P, has implanted a small chip into her ankle that allows him to be able to control her sleeping patterns and her mind itself. This is what is known as the mind control weapon, which she has said is indeed a very chip that P uses to dictate her sleep schedule. A very chip is indeed a real device that is implanted under the skin and can be used for biometric verification but no discoveries have been made that indicate controlling one's sleep to be within the realm of possibility using it. Still, even if this story is false and simply a delusion of Chip Chan herself, for what reason would she have to stream her ordeal live for such long periods? Her reasoning behind streaming lies with the fear that she constantly feels towards P breaking into her apartment. She states that the stream is used as a preventative measure so that P cannot enter her apartment without being captured on live video. This would also explain why a large portion of the time that she does indeed spend awake is allocated towards barricading her doors. The situation that P has allegedly put her in means that she needs to isolate herself in this cluttered and somewhat eerie apartment whilst she streams herself sleeping. One might ask where she was receiving the funding to live on in the strange situation that she was in, but after some speculation from online users, she made a statement about her financial situation. Chip Chen said that she was living off of a family inheritance and that she needed not to work or leave her apartment for that matter. One instance of Chip Chan leaving her apartment has been documented, with a picture of her protesting with a very familiar graphic on a tree opposite to her. She said that this protest was in front of the Korean police agency, yet she denounced them as being together with the pig, as she puts it. Chip Chan began streaming in 2008, 24-7, and maintained this schedule for a long time. Inevitably, though, she decreased the amount of hours that she was streaming. More recently, Chip Chan's stream has gone down completely, which led her followers to believe that something drastic had occurred, but she stated online that P had finally hacked her stream, taking it offline entirely. As this video is uploaded, she has still not started up her stream, but her blogs are updated very regularly with her situation as she describes it. These blog posts are composed of confusing and often obscure rhetoric, but they are somewhat fascinating to read as she claims through them that P and his subordinates kidnap her while she's unconscious on a regular basis. During these kidnappings, she explains, Pig implants MCW all over my body, 
gives me an injection to a vein, steals my belongings like money, phones, watches, breaks phones, bags, shoes, clothes, waters, batteries, not to make me use. In separate blog posts, she also expresses that P has broken into her house several times. Chip Chan's story is one that intrigues many. Is she a severely mentally damaged woman that has begun to believe that P and the mind control weapon are real? Is her story completely truthful and may she be in a situation that is both intricate and sinister? Whether or not her stories are true, Chip Chan has become a famous figure in internet circles and has even garnered news coverage for her situation. How will her life progress and will more uncovered mysteries lead us further into the Chip Chan rabbit hole? These questions may never be answered, and although P's existence seems quite unlikely, the more that this story unfolds, the more we may begin to understand if and why she fabricated this complex and convoluted internet mystery.